Hello, I'm the real Zemek. This is hopefully going to be a shortish video about a microcontroller I recently made for uh, Stormworks. Main, mostly in Lua, and I started playing around with Lua a couple of weeks ago, so I'm not an expert at all. Um, but, I mean, I started experimenting with it, just sort of bumbling through, not really knowing what I was doing. I made a couple of things that worked, but they were pretty inefficient, so I actually watched a a YouTube video about how to write Lua, and I'm now slightly better at it. And this is the result of being slightly better at it. I made a, a microcontroller that's actually useful. It's now in the workshop, and it seems to be gaining popularity relatively quickly for something I made. So I'd like to make a short video about it. Uh, so go in and have a look, really. Okay, so this is running my dedicated server, and I've got a little uh, vehicle here that's got a demonstration of what the microcontroller can do. So these are all copies of the microcontroller, and each one's set up slightly differently. It's got the config you can change in the properties before you do that in a minute. It's got a normal um, vertical mode, horizontal mode. Like a half height horizontal mode that has the, uh, the label over it or the value. Uh, paper mode, there you can see paper mode only has one input, whereas the others have two. And that can either have a label or the label and the value. This one is labeled throttle, this one is labeled temperature, and this one there. That's why it's displaying a different value to the rest of them. It's a green to red. Gradient, but it is customizable fairly easily. So, to show you that in a second. So, these are the options. This here, just to say it was the splash screen. If you don't want to have my logo and name at the start when you turn on your screen, then you can just disable that easily. Um, horizontal mode, fairly obvious, it just makes it horizontal rather than vertical. Taper mode, that's where the, the bars get longer. This is the label, only uses it in taper mode though. That's how you enable the label for taper mode. This shows the value of the taper mode, so the input number, and this is the maximum input. So by default, it's one, so if you're connecting it to a throttle, throttle lever, that will work fine, because the throttle will usually output between zero and one. But if you wanted to connect this, this bar gauge to different inputs, say like your engine RPS, if your engine RPS was a maximum of 30, you could put that at 30, or if you wanted it to be a little higher so it wasn't constantly redlining, on the bar gauge, when your engine was running at 30 RPS, you could put it maybe 32 or 35 or whatever you like. And then this just, um, when you have this enabled in horizontal mode, it makes the bars half height and adds the value over the top of them. So hopefully the properties are fairly self-explanatory. And the colors, they have to be um, changed within the Lua script. I've tried to make it as easy as possible. So these here, the colors that I'm using, green one, green two, green three, etc. I've just used the default colors from the paint menu in Stormworks. And then I've put them into a table here. So each element in this table is a different segment. So this is the first segment, this is the second segment, etc. And then the red one is at the top. So if you wanted the whole gauge to be green, you could just change all of these values to green one. If you want the whole thing to be red, you could change it all to red one. And if you wanted to change when it starts going green, so if you wanted mostly green, and then like the last segment was red, and the one before that was orange, obviously you could just change them all to green, the last one, to, second to the last one to orange, and the last one to red. So you can change the, the color gradient. I mean, it is a bit of faff and manual. If you, hopefully you only have to do it once so much you want to set up, it should be fine. Um, so I'll just go through what, what the script does really. I mean, initially it was just the, the vertical bar gauge and a couple of other features were requested. I've kind of slapped them on afterwards. So the script is a bit jumbled, but, but I know what everything is. Uh, so obviously these are the properties, mostly. Um, the properties for I can see here the properties for these settings, property tab and the microcontroller. 
these are the colors I'm using. So this is the red, green, and blue values. So if you want to add like one of the segments was pink, you could do that. Um, you could add like pink here equals, and in the table, just put the RGB values of the color of pink you want to use, and then just replace the segment that you want to be that pink color with whatever you name the table. So if you named it pink, you put pink in here. Obviously, it is at the character limit almost at the moment, um, but that's not really an issue because if you want to add something to the script, you can just come to the bottom and uh, delete this section here, and that will remove the splash screen, and you'll have plenty of characters to add your own colors. This part, uh, the for loop here, that's what actually draws the segment, segment on the screen. You can see set color 10, 10, 10. So the bit, the bit after that is what's drawing the gray bars and um, set color and then the table, table on pack. So that's the color table, SCC. So this bit is uh, setting the color as the segment in the table, but obviously each segment can be a different color. So it's using the eye from this for loop here as the element in that table. So segment one, for loop is going to be on, on the one, the eye is going to be one. So then element from the table that gets read is element one. So then that's what makes this as segment one and this segment two. So this is just something basic that I created with very little understanding of Lua really. Um, if you're if you're interested, it is on the workshop, so feel free to subscribe. Um, but I mean, if you're new to Lua like me and you want to know more, perhaps make your own microcontrollers using Lua. I will put some resources in the description of the video. You don't have to follow any any videos or tutorials that are specific to Stormworks. The, the help, if you go into the help tab in the Lua script, all the information about the Stormworks API is in there. So um, as long as you know that and a general understanding of some of the functions in Lua, which you can get from any Lua tutorial video on YouTube or something like that, then you should be able to make a a basic script like I have. So I will post a link to the video that I used. Also, if you join the official Stormworks Discord, there's plenty of far more knowledgeable people in there who will be more than happy to help you out. Or if for some reason you wanted to ask me a question instead, I will put my Discord um, in the description as well. We'll just show you one handy tool for when developing the Lua script. Uh, for for Stormworks, this is a uh, Pony IDE. So I think the guy who made this crazy fluffy pony, I believe. Uh, he used to play Stormworks. I don't think he does anymore. But this is just development environment in a browser for for Stormworks. So the URL is Lua dot uh, Laffy pony dot rocks. I think I'll put that in the description as well. And you can write your your Lua script in here. This is the same as the one that was just in the in the game microcontroller. So I just copied and pasted that into here. So it works the same pretty much as the in-game Lua Lua writing function, except you, down here you have a console. If you wanted to do some debugging. You could put in print, so if you wanted to know um, what, what the value of a variable was, you could just put print and then in brackets the name of that variable, and then on tick, then once per tick, you'd see the uh, the value of that variable come up in the console. Uh, you can also preview the monitor. So if I run the script, you can see here it will show you sort of a rough idea what the monitor is actually going to look like in the game. It has a red box around here, so that's the overflow. That's kind of handy. So if, if your thing just goes slightly off the screen, it'll be outside the overflow and you'll see it. So you'll be able to see which side of the screen you've gone off. That's quite handy. Loads of settings. You can uh, control like your, what inputs you've got. 
outputs and properties and stuff. Um, so, for example, if I tick this, uh, oh, sorry, tick properties, that's the splash enable, so you get the splash there. Doesn't look quite the same on here as it does in game, but it gives you a rough idea. They like taper mode, horizontal value. Um, it looks slightly different because I've got uh, larger values in here than you normally have in game. So obviously you wouldn't have 1,111% because it goes off the screen a bit. So that's all there is to it really, um, to this video. As I said, it is on the workshop. So if you want to have a go with controller, this was called one by one monitor double bar gauge. Might be able to find it if you go on popular one week at the time of this video, but I'll put a link to a workshop in the description as well. So um, feel free to leave any feedback on the page itself as well. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.